here we are today for the PET scan. And this is, I forgot your name already, I'm Amy. sorry. Amy, hello. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna set me up for the scan here. This is what it looks like. I've had a lot of people ask me like, what happens when you do a scan? <laughs> I know there's videos Curiosity. and things, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty standard for like drawing blood. There's just a couple of different hiccups in the thing. Usually they go through my port, but today we're gonna go through my arm because I've had really good veins lately. I hope they give you, I hope I give you yeah. some good ones. <laughs> yeah, I've got some in your forearm there. I'm just gonna go a little smaller setup here. Try not to torture you too badly. Looking forward to the whole thing today. Yeah. It's really nice <laughs> to share the information because people who haven't had pets. Sure. People who haven't had pets don't even know what to expect. Do you know right. what I mean? Doing okay? Yes. Yeah, because we get a lot of people say, oh, that wasn't too bad. I love this trick how they can check my blood yeah, sugar. Yeah, it's not going all the way through. Oh, it so didn't? I might have to poke you. No problem. Usually this will fill up with blood. It's, it's a small needle, so I'm I sure see. that's why. So yeah, I'm gonna have to poke you, sorry. My blood was thick today or something. Yeah, all the way to the end. <laughs> to do it because it's never fun. Oh, I don't mind. Like <laughs> yeah, usually it'll fill right up, but it's, like I said, it's pretty small, so it doesn't flow as good. Sorry. I didn't even feel anything. <laughs> Maybe that's a neuropathy. Usually, I was going to say, usually this is the biggest complaint is, oh my gosh, that hurts. Look how like a paper cut. <laughs> How could something so little hurt so bad? But it does, usually, if you have feeling in your fingers, right? <laughs> Very important two, to have normal sugars two, when getting a pet. One. 101, which is fine. I'm gonna have you hold that. If you have too much glucose in your system, what happens is we could miss something. So, pet, it's very, very important. Seems like it's pretty important not to not to eat a bunch of stuff before the PET scan too, right? Absolutely, because that brings up your glucose level. So if you've got too much glucose in your system, it could hide cancer. Because this that all runs be, off the sugar could levels be in your system. Pretty dangerous then, right? You could if you don't follow that because you might miss Absolutely. something on your scan and Absolutely. not get treated That's for something you need. It's so important to follow yeah. the prep. Don't think, oh it'll be fine. Okay, right. They won't know if I've eaten or even if your blood sugar could still be normal and we could miss something because you've got that food in your system. That's just going slow. That doesn't hurt, does it? No. These small needles have a hard time. Just feel a that, little bit of coldness. This, this is normal. Because it is radioactive, so we don't want it just sitting here. That makes sense. We want to know exactly how much dose you're getting there, so. All right, I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be right back. Awesome. And you have to have special training for this, right, too? Yes, you have to be a nuke med tech. Nu nuclear medicine. med tech, that would sound so cool. I forgot <laughs> about that. No, it is totally cool. You let me know at any time if it starts to burn, okay? Sure. And this is just like radioactive glucose. Mm -hmm, pretty much. The radioactive part is just how our camera images is what's coming off of you from it. And then the glucose is anytime you have cancer, inflammation, or infection, you need energy for it to grow and survive. So we inject you with radioactive energy and see where it goes. It's pretty much the gist of pet. Don't feel nothing, just a little coldness went in, feels yeah. good. Sorry for the hair pulling hair. Oh, I'm very used to this. <laughs> Be a little waxing. Nice I always say like it's nice to have hair. I went like five years with no hair. So yeah, I'm yeah. So glad it's yeah. Back. You're like I'm good with that. <laughs> I have hair to, for you to pull out. <laughs> so this is pretty important for you to stay warm and comfortable during this time. Okay. So would you like a warm blanket? Yes, please. Uh, this is what the chair looks like, and it's got a nice recliner so you can put your feet up, and you always get a pillow. And they always give you the best. Oh, so I forgot about that. I want you to be calm. Not supposed to stand do you want up. This behind you? That's good right here, I okay. guess. <laughs> Thank do you. Do you want your feet up now that you're sure. be relaxing? Yes, please. Okay. Sorry for getting up. I should have known better. <laughs> okay. So right here, 
We can adjust you back. If okay, you go sure. Back farther. Right on. I'm okay. good for you. Good? This is so it's, it's manual. So if you pull it, you have to kind of push. Okay. So we have our new call button. So if you need anything, awesome. you're just going to hit that. Um, and no more phone at this point. On. Yes, you, you got it. You can only listen. Okay. Very just good. So you don't want to ruin your test. We'll see you. Not supposed to be recording right now, but I'm going to sneak a quick one in. We're in the rest process, and I really recommend Brandon and the Noise canceling earbuds, getting your feet up, take your shoes off, get as cozy, pretend you're in a spa treatment, think of good thoughts, be excited, uh, get ready to just be comfort in a nice, relaxing zone. You get to kick back and chill. You get to kick back in the PET scan machine. It's all awesome. It's fun. All right, going to take a nap. We'll make the walk to the skin now. Oh, we're right here. So Pat, your um, hair Oh, yeah. Okay. This is what it looks like right here. We're heading into the scan. Excited for this. All right, let's go.